So we're going to move from this uh, very dense symbol laden work through to through to just some, which is also black and white, to just like some color work. Um, this is the Luce, oh, Lucifer and Mendez. Oh, and I lost it. Damn it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> so I just, sorry, before we talk about this, I need to, the first thing that came to my mind, my husband makes some very terrible jokes. And at one point he made a joke about like, so we just moved in with these, um, my aunt and uncle, they have two dogs. And he's like, mm-hmm. he came downstairs. He was like, babe, do you know the name for the number for a vet? And I was like, a vet? Like, what do you mean? Did something happen to the dogs? He's like, no, but these, these dogs puppies are, are sick. sick. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> we were going to say the exact same punchline at the same time. And it was slightly different. Um, I fucked up so bad. I'm sorry. Well, oh, clearly it wasn't puppies. Clearly it was pythons. Look at the picture. Sorry, go ahead. Yep, yep. No, no, no. I only just remembered that. Like, oh yeah, the arms of Lucifer in this image are pythons. Thank, thank you, Nicole. That rules. That's- oh shit! See, if I was paying attention to the picture. All right, we'll edit that out. We'll start that conversation over, and I'm just going to mute my mic. See, see uh, you started. I, I dragged the artwork, uh, Lucifer and the, and the goat of Mendez, oil on board, uh, painting onto the screen and it is a like a uh, lucifer sort of angelic figure with his arms up he's doing sort of this almost this like flexing pose but his hands are down and snake pythons are coming out of his arms and you as soon as i put it on screen you start saying like yeah my husband and i was about to say like your husband has a goat penis <laughs> as in like a goat head I penis actually, with this was a photo of like, her husband when you first brought it up and i'm glad i didn't you know like <laughs> jump out to that i was like oh okay no it is a painting it's very photorealistic but for the record, he does have a goat penis, um, but that wasn't what I was bringing up in this situation. That's a, that's for a, that's for a later time. We don't have to talk about that now. Yeah, she means cannot... that in the sense that his penis is the greatest of all time. But <laughs> excellent Fa- uh, shout out for yeah. Nicole's husband's penis. <laughs> so we've had and the many penises because of the it's show. goat shaped. I... It's very multi layered like that. <laughs> I, I don't immediately. I can't immediately bring to mind what a goat penis looks like, and I'm just going to stay that way. I don't know. I, I know oh, they're big nuts that. and. Why, why don't you just image search that? that and then you could also throw it up on the screen, you know, we'll all learn together. I mean, no, I, obviously no, no, Nicole we'll, knows, but. No, we, I could describe we it skip. to you. Yeah, sorry, please go on. Are you regretting this? <laughs> like, no, no, this is perfect. You guys were perfect for this. I could have, like, it occurred to me that like, okay, we have a bunch of like friends of the show who do, who are like good artists and know about art, but like, no, 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 no. I need, I need buff. I need them for this. <laughs> you guys are perfect for this. This is wonderful. Sorry. Um, so, so yeah, further described, we got the satanic figure, sorry, the Lucifer figure. Uh, he's got like wonderful flame around his head. The colors are so fucking good. The highlights are so bright. The shadows are so good. It's got wonderful contrast. And then between his legs, he's either riding a sort of the goat of Mendez, this like very also satanic looking goat figure, or it's part of him. Uh, it's We're not quite sure, but uh, this is one of my favorite works of hers. Um, it's The colors just drive me wild. There's like yellows and greens and reds the eyes are like blue with little red highlights um yeah sorry i'm i'm so this is the fucking warhammer painting side of me this is just like how the fuck did she get all these blends how the hell did she do all these highlights so well uh she was she was great she's yeah yeah i love this um this work pissed people off so hard like like all of them not i not to labor the point but yeah you know when you have a painting called lucifer people are going to get lose their shit Um, apparently the book that this was a part of copies of it were sent to albert einstein uh carl jung uh and c.s lewis uh so uh chronicles of narnia guy had a copy of this book and loved it apparently uh i'd fucking love this book i want i want to see if there's a copy of this christmas is coming up uh note to my wife I'm trying to come up with like the obligatory "my eyes are up here" joke, but it's not coming. So just <laughs> let me just leave that there. Uh, yes, he has he has eye titties uh, for for our audio listeners. Um, before I before I forget too, I think it's interesting because we had just talked about how uh, like the imagery of Pan, like certainly by this time, had already been long kind of co-opted as you know satan or as lucifer and like here she has her own interpretation of lucifer it's like no my devil does not look like pan my devil looks like uh, i mean as much as i hate to invoke it like kind of has this like goku thing going on with uh, the hair yeah. yes i was gonna say that absolutely like i hate that she show invented Dragon Ball Z. The, yeah the first thing well you know we can't all be perfect but 
Wait, no, no, she, I'm going to find, God, I want to know if Akira Toriyama saw any of this. I wonder if he was just like, yeah, fine, I want to, or I don't know, maybe I'm just being silly, probably a reach. <laughs> so, okay, so this is a thing that you can cut out and drop at the beginning, but for those of you who want to play along at home, there's a drinking game where you have a drink every time Lucas says sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm trying not to do it. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm not apologizing. Fu- uh, I'll say whatever, I'll say whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so there's a, so in the documentary at this point, it gets to like, uh, her and, uh, Norton and Greenlees being officially busted for buggery. They are having a house party. Um, Norton, uh, mostly drank Stone's ginger wine. I don't know if you have it there in Canada. Uh, the, the drunkest and sickest I've ever been has been on Stone's ginger wine. I almost wanted again, but also like would probably threw up if I had it. <laughs> like what, like short version, what is it? Like, is it mulsy wine? Is it? It's a mixer. You're meant to mix it with like soft drinks or, you know, use it as a mixer in drinks. Um, yeah, I used to make uh, ginger mules, which are, which is a mix of stones, ginger wine, uh, ginger beer and uh, whiskey. Uh, it is the most drunk I've ever gotten. I sat down after drinking this stuff, uh, watched my friends play Smash Brothers and had to run outside and be sick. Uh, That's what happens when I watch people play Smash Bros too, but. Yeah, good point. <laughs> um. So at this point, uh, also, I'd like to make a note. Um, one of uh, Rosalie Norton's friends in the documentary is like a very lovely, weird older man. Everyone they interview who's not like an art historian just seems like the coolest, weird, old bohemian artist. And he calls amphetamines amphetamines. And uh, I just need I to I do make remember that. It was very funny. We had amphetamines. And I was like, <laughs> this guy rules. Can he still get me? His whole <laughs> speech patterns were just amazing. Like his... Like, I don't know how much was a combination of like, uh, like maybe like a particular old timey, like regional accent or just like that real, like old man, like wheeziness. And like, I don't know, his, he was just a very, uh, enrapturing individual to listen to. Mm-hmm. 